students today's topic is for class 7 i have already made last video of class 7 that was weather and climate so i have described about the weather and climate and difference between weather and climate today i am going to make you understand about the climate and adaptation climate and adaptation this adaptation of any living organisms is because of the climatic conditions of that particular area before going through this we need to know what are the climatic conditions of the different parts of india in india the climatic conditions varies in different parts means there are variation all over the india same climatic conditions are not there so what is the climatic what are the climatic conditions found in different parts of india if we if we speak about or if we talk about the southern part of india so in south part of india the climatic condition is tropical the climatic condition is tropical and if we speak about northern part of india then it is temperate what type of climatic condition it is temperate means see variety of climatic conditions are there but in general if we talk about india then most regions has tropic you can say that tropical monsoon mostly most of the part of india has tropical monsoon in general i am telling you and this is with significant seasonable variation significant seasonable variation in rainfall and temperature means it totally depends upon the rainfall and the temperature western part if we talk about the western part of this country the western part of india this is hot this is hot and dry hot and dry the western part of india is hot and dry and if you think about or if you must be knowing that some part of the himalayan regions of india has freezing temperature so what i told you right now i said that there are different different types of climatic conditions of india means variety of climates are there in different parts of india southern part i told you the climate is tropical in north parts of india temperate in general if we say that mostly we are dependent upon tropical monsoon and with the significant seasonable variations hmm. in rainfall and temperature western part is hot and dry and some of the himalayan region has freezing temperature they have freezing temperature so we can say that on the basis of on the basis of climatic conditions in the world i'm telling about earth i'm not telling about only india on the basis of climatic conditions the whole earth is divided into three parts the whole earth is divided into three parts first part is polar region the first part is polar region second part is desert second part is desert and the third part is you must be knowing polar region you must be knowing desert and you must have heard in your social that is tropical rainforest or tropical region so these are the three regions these are the three major regions which are found in the whole earth either polar region or desert or tropical region so now i'm going to explain one by one of all this reason it will help you to understand about the adaptation in animals why animals have adapted some special features why these animals have adapted some special features in particular area in desert area or in tropical area or in polar regions actually adaptation is always done for the survival in particular area 
So to survive in that area, they have adapted some special features. But before going through their adapted features, we need to know why and what kind of climatic conditions are there. Let us talk about, let us talk about polar regions. Polar regions. You must have heard about, about this polar region, North Pole and South Pole. And these, both the regions are, uh, the temperature of both the regions have freezing, completely very low, very low temperature. Why? It is just because the, these are the reasons where sunshine never falls in adequate, uh, how much is needed, that much sunshine is not fall in that region. Because they are at the high latitude. These reasons are at the high latitude where sunshine falls in a slant manner and in a wide range, slant and wide. So, an adequate amount of sunshine never reach to these areas. So, the temperature remains very low. So, the temperature of these areas remains very low. And almost whole year, it is covered by snow. This polar regions are covered by snow. Almost whole, reason, whole year. What are the countries which comes under this? Polar region means which are the countries which comes under this polar region. Have you ever heard about Greenland, Iceland, Sweden, Canada, Alaska, Siberia? I am writing here they are Greenland, you must have heard. Then Iceland, they are found in polar region. Alaska, Siberia, Canada. These places are found in polar regions and they are very, their climatic conditions are very cold and almost whole year, whole year they wear sweaters and coats. What type of coats? Woolen coats. The next part is desert. The next part is desert. Desert's climatic conditions, climatic condition is completely hot and dry. Hot and dry. You know what is the reason of this hot and dry uh, climate? It is just because very less or you can say no rainfall. Yes. Very less rainfall is there. In desert land, the rainfall is very, very much less. Have you ever heard about Sahara? Sahara Desert? You must have heard about Sahara Desert. This is the largest desert of Africa. The Sahara Desert is the largest desert of Africa. And what kind of temperature is there? Very high. It's very high. No vegetation. No plants. So no rainfall. So because of that weather is, or sorry, climate is hot and dry. Completely hot and dry. In India, you must have heard about the uh, uh, western part of Rajasthan. In India, western part of Rajasthan is also covered by this desert. Western part of Rajasthan is having desert. So that is why the temperature during summer, summer in Rajasthan very high. And the climatic condition is hot and dry. Completely hot and dry. And these are tropical desert regions. They are tropical desert regions. Now let us know about tropical rainforest or tropical region. Before making you understand this, let us go through the um, uh, structure of earth. If you remember, this earth is oval in shape. Right in between there is an imaginary line and this imaginary line is what called an equator. What it is called? An equator. Above this line there is one more line and just below this line there is one more line. And this region, this region is what called? This region is called Tropic of Cancer and this region is what called Tropic of Capricorn. Remember, you must have heard and you must have learned in your social science. You know, 
on equator the sunshine is direct here on equator that is why equatorial region is hot and humid throughout the day suns or sun shine over this area but due to this what happened you know too much of evaporation takes place and that is why the forests which are found in this region tropical region huh, they are evergreen because almost every day it rains in that area in biology also you have heard that 40% of the cloud is formed because of the transpiration transpiration means removing of water by the plants at the time of photosynthesis so this reason has large number of plantation a good natural vegetation is there so throughout the day what they do they transpirate and lots of cloud is formed that is why almost every evening it rains in that area so the plants which are found in that area always green this this particular area is known as evergreen forest this area is what called evergreen forest so what are the parts of the earth what are the parts of the earth comes in this tropical area they are you you must be knowing you must have heard of about uh, this all area in social science they are india malaysia indonesia is also there brazil kenya uganda etc some part of india is also there in that particular region meghalaya cherapunji if you go to cherapunji and you see almost every day it rains there because that part is uh, actually uh, comes in uh, tropical region uganda malaysia indonesia kenya nigeria republic of congo republic of congo these countries comes in this some part of these countries not completely some part major parts also comes under this equatorial region tropical region not equatorial region tropical region and that is why in those region evergreen forests are found so most of the evergreen forests are found in this tropical region in this tropical region so i hope you people have understood the different climatic conditions on earth and three major parts according to the climatic conditions of the earth is tropical desert and polar regions so in my next video i'll be making you understand in those regions like in polar regions in desert and in tropical regions what kind of animals are found and how they are adapted some special features to live over that particular area and survive means ki in sare regions mein jitne janwar paaye jaate hain wo wahan kaise rehte hain unhone kya special feature adapt kiya hai jiski wajah se wo us particular region mein survive kar sakte hain to ye main aapko agle video mein bataungi thank you all of you